I have these four glasses of water and I have some salt, sugar, some flour that is atta and some sand with me. And what I'll do is I will try and mix each of these substances with water. And I want you to observe what happens. All right, so these four have now become mixtures. A mixture has two or more than two substances in it. And the first one has salt and water. This one has sugar and water. This one has flour and water. And this one has sand and water. So all of these are mixtures. But I'm sure you observe some difference among them, right? Not every mixture is looking the same. Let's try and look closely. This is a mixture of salt and water. Well, are we able to see the salt that we tried to mix in it? No, right? We can't see it. It's completely disappeared. Let's look at the second mixture now. That is sugar and water. Well, again, we can't see sugar, right? It's completely dissolved. It's completely mixed with water. There is a little bit of left at the bottom, but you can try to mix it some more and then gradually it will dissolve completely. So one thing is common in both of these mixtures, salt and water and sugar and water. That is, we cannot see the salt or sugar that we added to the water. And these type of mixtures in which the components are dissolved completely, they are mixed completely, they cannot be seen, are called homogeneous mixtures. Now let's have a look at the other two mixtures. So this is the one with flour and water, when we try to mix atta with water. Well, what do we see here? We can clearly see the flour added, right? It has not been mixed, it has not been dissolved. In fact, it has settled at the bottom. Okay, let's look at the last mixture. Similar thing over here, right? The sand has settled at the bottom. Sand did not dissolve in water. So these type of mixtures in which the components do not completely mix and the components can be clearly seen. For example, we can see the flour and sand clearly in that mixture. These type of mixtures are called heterogeneous mixtures. And there are many more examples of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Why don't you try and identify some of those examples around you?